EIP was not designed with security in mind. This became an issue as the use of electronic communication increased. Securing digital information quickly became a priority. TCPIP was already embedded into the communication infrastructure that it was not feasible to replace the entire stack with something more secure. To counter this flaw, the security of TCPIP was divided into four areas encryption, non-repudiation, authentication, and authorization. These four areas will be covered more in depth in future videos, but here's a brief explanation for each. Encryption simply means taking readable data and converting it into unreadable data. This protects the data from being read by an unauthorized party. It does not prevent the data from interception. Encryption can be found in almost every area that deals with digital information. Non-repudiation deals with the integrity of the data and the identity of the sender. It certifies that the data was not altered during transmission. This is done by creating a hash of the data. Digital signature is also a form of non-repudiation that can be used to refute any claims that the sender was not the one that actually sent the data. Authentication is the process of proving the identity of a user. This is done at the initial attempt at accessing a network or a device through a login screen. The most simplest form of authentication is the username and password. Authorization deals with the privileges given to a specific user and it comes after authentication. What a user can and cannot do is determined by the authorization process. This is one of the main purpose for Microsoft's Active Directory. So in conclusion, securing the TCP IP stack requires dividing it into four areas. Each area plays an important role in how digital information is protected within a system that was not initially built with security in mind. That's all for now on securing TCP IP. Head over to heymit.com for more information. <music>